He had taken up singing after about the third month. At first he just sang to his family as he sat in front of their chamber. As time passed, though, he started singing to all of them during his rounds. And he sang to himself in the caretaker's hold or while he puttered around. He knew he wasn't good, but the sound of a human voice, even if it was his own, was a welcome change from the mechanical voice of the computer and the silence of the ship. Now as he left Arya, he heard his voice dancing through the cavernous hold. Ethan left Arya's passenger hold by way of the caretaker's access door. The corridor directly in front of him lit up as the ship anticipated his journey back to the caretaker's hold. The passageway was smooth and familiar, with matte silver paneling and black striping that could light up in different colors for help navigating through the ship. He'd once turned the whole ship orange just to see if it helped alleviate the boredom. It had. For a while. Despite the familiarity, though, Ethan sensed that something was different. He stopped, glancing around. The panels were the usual silver. The light was pale blue like a summer sky. Everything in the corridor looked fine. Maybe it was a change in the sound of the ship. He closed his eyes to focus. Suddenly he realized what it was. The air in the corridor was warm. In all the uninterrupted days on the ship, his living quarters had been maintained at a comfortable 67 degrees Fahrenheit, the computer's determined perfect temperature for his body. This was the temperature at which he neither sweated nor shivered. Now, though, he felt slightly too warm, and he took several quick steps with the ever-growing feeling that something was wrong. He walked cautiously, stepping across the six-inch thresholds and running his eyes up and down the corridor before spinning and instinctively heading back to the passenger holds. Computer, he said as his steps quickened, what is the status of the ship? Status normal, Mr. Bryant, responded the mechanical voice. What is the temperature? Temperature set at 71 degrees, the computer responded. He stopped mid-stride and looked up though he was no more likely to see the computer there than at his feet. He found that he usually spoke to the computer as if it were taller than him by about a head and standing somewhere to his right. Seventy-one. For five years you hold steady at sixty-seven and now you've shifted to seventy-one? Please repeat the question. The computer's voice recognition software could understand the inflection of a question, but not his meaning. He would need to restate it more directly. What's wrong with the ship? All systems are functioning normally, Mr. Bryant. That can't be true. Nothing changes here without a reason. He ran a hand through his hair, pacing the width of the corridor. Changing his tactics, he tried a more specific question. Computer, what system malfunctions could cause a temperature change? The computer rattled off a list of possibilities. It was long. Okay, what are the most likely malfunctions in that list?